Hey, hey guys, Eric with The Loop here in Boise, Idaho again. Hey, I wanna to touch on something that I think doesn't get talked about enough in our industry. So often people are talking about brands, they're talking about how many zones of audio, they're talking about are we doing Sonos, are we doing MusicCast, are we doing Control 4, what product are we doing here? But I wanna talk about the biggest factor that affects the quality of your install. Absolutely above everything else, everything else is the quality of the install itself and therefore the quality of the company that does the install. Okay, I cannot stress this enough, I'm even gonna say it again. The biggest factor is the quality of the install and the company itself that determines your usability. There are multiple reasons I'll bring that up. One of them is that today's technology, you can get a specific feature out of lots of different pieces of hardware. If you wanna stream Pandora, you can stream that from Sonos, you can stream it from Control 4, you can stream it from Yamaha, you can stream it from MusicCast, you can stream it from your phone, you can stream it from any number of things. The problem is that the system isn't designed well, you'll end up using a fork when you need a knife and a spoon when you need a fork. We wanna make sure and use the right tool for the right application. So when you're going through and you're looking for a company to partner with to help you on your system, make sure, and I cannot stress this enough, make sure that you really understand what they're doing and what they're delivering for you. Because we've came into many, many installs where the hardware in the install was actually good. There was nothing wrong with the hardware. The hardware, it worked great, it was good quality hardware, it was not some B stock or anything like that. The problem was that the hardware was just not installed correctly. So in those situations, unfortunately, the client ends up paying once for it to be installed incorrectly, then again for it to be installed correctly. So when you're looking at doing a project, make sure that you have those discussions with your integrator. Make sure you understand how those things are going to come together. For example, I was just at a job earlier this week and it was one that another company had pre-wired. I walked into this home and they showed me where their equipment was supposed to, supposed to go. And I looked, and it was a brand new home, and I looked and I said, well, your equipment's gonna go in this closet? And they said, well, yeah, that's where the company ran all the wire. And I said, well, that's going to be a little bit difficult because that cabin is only 15 inches deep and your surround sound receiver that you're planning on using is 17 and a half. And your distributed audio amplifier that you want to use, that one's 18 and a quarter. So how are you planning on fitting that equipment in a, in a closet that's only 15 inches deep? And you could just see this emotion change on their face when they realized that this was going to be a problem. And unfortunately, in a lot of these situations, the company isn't the one that takes it. Unfortunately, a lot of these situations, the client ends up having to deal with it. They end up with having to deal with equipment set on its edge, turned sideways, backwards, any number of things to make that work. So when you're looking at doing this type of system, when you're looking at doing any type of smart home or similar platform, make sure you understand how they're going to bring everything together. And if they stutter when they explain to you how that's going to come together, run. All I can say is run, because otherwise you're going to end up pay for, paying for it twice. All right, so that's you guys tip for today. Eric with The Loop here in Boise. Give some comments down below. If you had some nasty installs or some great ones, please share, it. share them with us. We'd love to hear. All right, have a great day.